Okay, so welcome back. Still uh, happily tooling around on my new baby. And I will tell you, it is quite a fucking fun experience. It is so nice not to have to sit behind traffic or in traffic or just fucking waiting for traffic. Oh, it's awesome. It is awesome. I am playing it, uh, of course, I'm behaving myself, or trying to at least. <laughs> trying very hard to behave myself but I tell you what this baby just wants to go man she doesn't want to fucking sit still I mean, just oh feel that feel that feel that oh give me carrots baby oh I want carrots give me carrots oh oh that's beautiful oh, I love that that is so much fun <laughs> oh fuck it I'm gonna get, uh, I cannot afford to ride this bike, I tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna get so many speeding tickets. I cannot afford to ride this bike. Oh man, I tell you. It is just too much fucking fun. Oh, just squeeze. Oh. Oh yeah. That, that sort of shit should not be illegal. It should not be legal in public. Oh man, I tell you what. Oh, it's just fucking awesome. So, um. Yeah, thank you to uh, everybody that's uh, moved over with me to the new channel. And as we move over to the new channel, what does YouTube in its infinite glory go and do? It allows you to change your channel name. I fucking tell you, it's hysterical. I mean, I, I approached them, uh, the YouTube uh, management or question guys or whatever you want to call them service desk I approached them a couple of months ago and I said well, listen this is the plan um, I want to change my brand name or my um, I want to change my channel name to something a little less brand specific and their answer to me was, uh, sorry, no, you can't change your brand, your channel name after you've, uh, after you've created your channel, your, your channel name is stuck. So I'm like, all right, well, you know, I know Chase on, you know, Chase in 3D went to Chase on two wheels, so, okay, well, he got all of his subscribers back, so I might as well just do the same thing and, you know, change, get a new channel. Probably not that big a deal, and uh, yeah, I went for it. And uh, yeah, I had to go for it and uh, change the channel name to not something not brand or bike specific so that I could um, you know even if I don't keep the R6 which I can't see any reason why I wouldn't uh, if I don't keep the R6 if I get something bigger like a R1 or a Jigsaw or something like that you know I, I could keep the channel name So yeah, they told me, no, sorry, you have to open up a new channel. So that's what I did, and which is why you are here, watching Maverick Jedi. Which to me is in any case a much better option because um, Maverick Jedi has been my uh, gamer tag for a couple of years now, since 2002. So I've always been Maverick Jedi. <coughs> well, everybody in my guild knows me as Maverick. And while I was in high school and uh, that friggin' Tom, Top Gun movie came out, I was known as Maverick. Cause man, I tell you what, I just, I cannot focus. I cannot focus on a fucking topic. Uh, it's just, I, I've got too much happy. Too much happy. Oh man, I tell you. How could you not want to do this?
Anybody who doesn't want to ride is crazy. Anybody who doesn't want to fly is crazy. Anybody who doesn't want to go to the Stargate is crazy. <laughs> and there's my creepy uncle laugh, which everybody in the guild absolutely loves. They love it when I do the creepy uncle. Oh yeah, do the creepy uncle. They, they say to me, oh, Maverick, Maverick, do the creepy uncle, do the creepy uncle. And it's like, no, because the creepy aunt won't let me. And that fucker in the BMW that I was arguing with the whole fucking way here is sitting in his car fucking texting of all things. Whoopsie. Oh, I just come past the truck. Oh, baby. Oh, you are my fucking number one Christmas gift item. Oh, you are so awesome. It's not even funny. Oh, oh I love this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I love this thing to pieces. Oh, it's fucking awesome. I still think that, you know, with, with the amount of technology that we've got in this day and age, really, I think they should, that they should be able to make a bike with self-canceling fucking indicators. You know, once you're back at 90 degrees, let's say this is 90, like, you know, if you're, okay, let, let's say this is zero, and then you go over to 90, you know, anything between zero and 90 is considered a turn, you know, so that if you put your indicator on, like this, you're, you're busy turning, eh, Right. Once you bring it back up to zero degrees, the indicator cuts out. Why is this such an issue? Do it. Come on, guys. Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't make me fucking have to sit with this button the whole fucking time. Because I forget. I've got short-term memory loss. I'm getting old. I tell you what, I still squeal like a school goy. A school goy? What the fuck is a school goy? I wanted to say school like a school boy and I ended up being school girl, school boy all in one. So it's a school boy. Let's get when they fucking made this thing. This is my biscuit. And we all know how we love the biscuits and gravy. The ride on this thing is the biscuit and the speed is the gravy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> I even snorted there. <laughs> oh, fuck. I've just got too much happy. Sorry, I'm not used to this bike yet. Uh, I've just got... I've, I've got this stupid smile on my face. I can't talk through it. <laughs> it's very difficult. I'm trying to vlog. I'm trying to make sense. Really, I am. Um, so, yeah, anyway, let me, let me tell you this fucking story. How... how Oh, just a vroom, vroom, vroom. I know Eli Kunt wanted me to get an R1, but by the time I uh, got to the shop, it was uh, sold already. Sorry, Eli. 